Hello and welcome back to Catch and Cook California. Today, we're gonna to show you some of the most amazing edible portions of our native California cattail. alive. We just made a, a Thule canoe with all stone tools using the leaves of this for rope. Uh, really, really strong. It was like, what, a hundred pound test or something At like least. that? Yeah. Incredible stuff. But today we're going to show you the edible qualities of the cattail head. It's kind of amazing how good this stuff is. So we're going to do a little friction fire. Um, we're going to pit roast these in the ashes, uh, wrapped up in some leaves, and uh, we'll do a little taste test. Okay, so what we're going to do today to get our fire going, because this is Catch and Cook California and we like to start our fires in very weird and unique ways, we're going to do something called the fire roll. I'm going to start with a cotton ball, unroll it, I'm going to open it up. Now I'm going to take some wood ash from a fire we had the other day with Fishing Chef. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this over and I'm going to kind of tightly roll it up to about right here. I'm going to get rid of the excess cotton there. Nice and tight. I'm going to set this on this board and I'm going to run it in one direction here. This is going to get it nice and tight. We want to tighten it up so that eventually we can go two directions. All right, so now that it's a little bit tighter, we're gonna be able to go back and forth without the whole thing coming apart. So we're gonna start like so, and then we're just gonna try and generate some speed. See that? That's the fire roll. Alright, now we got our ember. Add this in with some dry tinder. Fold that up on there. goes now we got fire awesome set that down in there some good tender over the top Kevin showed your cool way to start a fire but what we're really here for is the cattail that's right, right, Kevin. That's right. So we were just harvesting some greens and uh, check out what we found. This is a millipede. They are not poisonous, but look at all the legs on this thing. The centipede was supposedly has a hundred and the millipede has a million. I, I don't think so. Not I true. don't even think it has a thousand. <laughs> it's got a lot of legs. I don't know if anybody's ever tried to count these. Probably nobody's had it on their hand this long. But anyway, super cool. We're gonna put them back and get to foraging. Uh, this is known as milk thistle, or also known as bull thistle. Uh, there's no real flowering heads out right now, but uh, they usually have this big purple flower, like a medieval weapon, right? Mace-like head on the top with big spikes. These thistles are in the artichoke family. So if you see them, they kind of look like an artichoke. There's a lot of uh, kind of these spiky needles on them. You want to cut those off. You don't want to eat those. They wouldn't go down very well. <laughs> You can cook them down, kind of make them almost like a spinach consistency, but you can also eat them green. Today, we're gonna use these bigger leaves to wrap our cattail heads, to cook those in the fire, and 
Bon Appetit. Like so. Got a big old leaf. That's what we're gonna wrap our cattails in. I mean, you'll still get poked by the ones around it, but you can kind of grab on like that. And carefully. Ow. So cutting the spines off these things. So another property with the thistle that's actually, it comes kind of equipped for wrapping food. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a hold here and I'm just gonna peel these fibers down. And so that is gonna be a completely biodegradable cord that we can now use to basically cinch up this leaf pouch. Sort of a natural alternative to aluminum foil. We wrap up our cattail, we tie it up with this, throw that in the coals, we're good to go. Mm. So you don't want to put these in direct flame, you don't want them on really hot coals, we're gonna put it basically in the ash so it kind of bakes. So get rid of some of the flame, spread things out. We got a nice bed of coals here, it's kind of perfect for cooking. We're just gonna lay these right in there. Perfect. You'll know it's done um, because the end here will loosen up. Nice. Comes out. It's perfectly tender at this point. Let's get these out of the coals. They should be super tender. One of the really cool things about these cattail heads this time of year is they actually kind of expand as they're cooking. And yeah, crazy tender. You wouldn't even think these are good to eat, but man, they are amazing. So I guess we give them a taste test. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that's hot. hot huh? Some ash on there. Ash never hurt anybody. Ooh. Oh yeah, look awesome. at that, dude. Cheers. Mmm, dude. Mmm, dude. You want? Know what? what does this taste like to you? It's like exactly like a corn, corn dog. dog. April Fools. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you can't actually eat a lot of parts of the cattail, but um, happy April Fool's Day, <laughs> corn dogs. Oh yeah, this actually wasn't our idea. There's another YouTuber who did this. We just thought it was so damn funny that we had to share it with you. So we'll leave a link to that original video in the description. And until next time, keep the old ways alive. We're gonna fool you. <laughs> I was like almost dying, dude. You're like cracking up laughing. I'm trying not to, man. I'm trying to be so serious right now. It's crazy. Uh. All right, so we don't want direct flame on these. <laughs> All right, let's see. <sighs>